Janet. And today we are going to focus on building deeper connections with residents through the Individualized Positive Psychosocial Intervention Program, or IPI. If you recall from video one, an IPI is designed for people living with dementia and provides activities that match residents' preferences. An IPI can become a part of your current schedule and is meant to help build a deeper connection between you and the residents you care for. It is also an opportunity for you to learn new skills and innovative ways to engage residents. Today, we'll focus on the three parts of every IPI, the introduction, doing the activity, and concluding the experience. You have watched an example of how to do an activity IPI. Now, we will show how IPIs can be applied to personal care. Personal care IPIs focus on building your connection with residents, not simply completing a task. In this training, you will learn how to build a deeper connection with residents, respect personal belongings, space, and preferences, use additional communication skills, adapt to challenging behaviors, reduce resistance to care, and increase positive mood. Many personal care IPIs do not need special supplies because residents have their own items they prefer to use. However, you can reference your IPI checklist to remind yourself how to start the activity, ask questions, and close the activity. We will show you scenes of Jen, a direct care worker who will help Violet get dressed. Violet is living with dementia. Jen knows that picking an outfit is important to Violet. She chooses this IPI activity with the goal of enhancing Violet's cooperation with care and to make a positive connection. Jen will first model a less effective than a more effective way to communicate. Good morning. How are you this morning? Ready to get up, get dressed, and start the day? I, I'm not ready to get up yet. I'm reading my magazine. Oh, I know. But we can do that later. It's time to get up and get dressed and have some breakfast. But I just told well, tell you me, I... how are you feeling today? Happy to start the day? Great. Shall we get dressed? There are times we all probably feel like approaching the care situation as Jen does here. She knows she has five people to get up, dressed, and to the dining room by a specific time. She's not mean or disrespectful to Violet, but she rushes the experience and doesn't wait for Violet to respond to her cues or her questions. By doing so, Jen misses an opportunity for connection with Violet. As a result, she may actually increase Violet's resistance to getting dressed. Let's watch Jen as she takes a more effective approach. Come in. Good morning, Miss Violet. My name is Jen. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I was thinking I could help you pick out something to wear today. What do you think? Well, I don't really feel like it. I'd want to keep reading my magazine. Oh, how about I come back in 15 minutes and we'll see if you're ready then. Okay, see you then. Come in. Good morning, Miss Violet. Are you finished with your magazine? Who are you? I'm Jen. I'm here to see if you need my help picking out something to wear. I don't really feel like it. I'd rather just keep reading. That does look like a really interesting magazine. What's it about? It's about cooking. I love to cook. Look. Ooh, that dish looks really yummy. It's making me hungry. Me too. <laughs> Would you like to get dressed and we can go get something to eat? Okay, we can give it a try. Wonderful. How are you feeling today? I just can't seem to remember anything. I, I can barely get through a page in this magazine. My memory has gotten so bad. Could you point to a face that shows me how you're feeling? It is hard when you feel you can't remember things. Thank you for sharing that with me. I hope that changing clothes might help make you feel a little better. 
In this scene, Jen approaches at eye level from the front, maintained eye contact and smiled. She kept a patient and calm tone of voice, showing that she was relaxed, interested and listening. Jen also spoke clearly, introduced herself and asked Violet for permission before beginning the activity. Jen was patient with Violet, giving her time to respond and restating questions as needed. Lastly, she makes a point to observe Violet's emotions. Building on these skills, Jen also demonstrated other effective techniques. She respected Violet's preference, even though it was not to participate in the IPI at first. By honoring her choice and coming back, Jen is strengthening her relationship with Violet. Jen realized that she would be more successful once she has established a connection through a positive interaction. Jen was also empathetic in her response to Violet's choice of feelings and doesn't try to minimize Violet's feeling by saying something like, oh, don't feel anxious or oh, you're just fine. Instead, Jen responded by offering hope that Violet's anxiety may change. She recognized an opportunity for meaningful connection and approached Violet's reluctance with curiosity. She problem solved and adapted the IPI instructions to Violet's individual preference. Now that Jen has successfully encouraged Violet to get dressed, let's watch how she begins the IPI activity, Getting Dressed. Let's see what we have here. Oh, it's going to be cool today, so I think a long sleeve blouse and pants. Now, which of these would you like to wear today? I, I, I don't know. Are those my clothes? Is that my dresser? Oh, yes, of course it is. We're in your room. I think this red blouse would look lovely on you. Okay. Are you sure that's my dresser? Yes, I'm sure. Now, which of these pants would you like to wear? Jen narrows the choices for Violet, but she rushes her. She doesn't allow Violet to fully express her preference of choosing which clothes to wear. Jen misses the chance to connect with Violet. Taking the time to fully engage a resident in an IPI can increase cooperation and positive feelings of the resident and enhance the relationship. I understand that choosing what you wear is important to you. Yes, it is. Would you like to pick an outfit now? Sure. Let's go to your dresser. Is that my dresser? Oh, is that your dresser? No, this is yours. Let's pick out an outfit for you to wear today. Oh, I just can't remember a thing. It's okay. I'm here to help. Let's go through your clothes together and then you can choose what you'd like to wear. May I open your drawers? Okay. Oh, you have some lovely blouses in here. Which color would you like to wear today? I think the rain. I, I mean, um, oh, it's not the word. Oh, I just, that's not what I mean. That's okay. Can you point to it? The red blouse. Yes, the red blouse. Very nice choice. It's beautiful. Now, what would you like to wear with it? Oh, I don't know. Would you like to wear pants or a skirt? I think pants. Good choice. It's a little chilly outside. Would you like the black, brown, or blue ones? Mm -hmm. I think the brown ones. These ones? Yes, those would be nice. Yes, they would be nice. You have a very good eye for fashion. <laughs> Would you like to wear some accessories today, like jewelry or a watch? Oh, I love jewelry, but I don't know where my jewelry is. Oh, well, isn't this your jewelry box right here? Well, yes. How did it get here? Well, I'm not sure. Maybe one of your children brought it by. May I look at your jewelry with you? What do you want with my jewelry? We're just looking at jewelry to go with your outfit but maybe you can choose the jewelry yourself and just ask me if you need help. Oh, 
This is perfect. <laughs> oh, yes. Would you help me put it on? Of course. Mm, this is a beautiful necklace. Thank you. Where did you get it? Oh, it was a gift from my husband, Antonio. Oh, tell me about Antonio. Oh, Antonio is my husband. He's at work right now, but he should be back later. Hmm. How long have you been married? Oh, I don't remember. Maybe 10 years. Oh, this is a pretty necklace. Antonio got it for me when he went to Costa Rica. He has great taste in jewelry. He does have great taste. My boyfriend picked this out for me. Well, he has great taste as well. Mm -hmm. I think he's a keeper. You should marry him. <laughs> <laughs> what is the secret to a happy marriage? Oh, you must love one another. Mm -hmm. But good gifts don't hurt either. <laughs> Since Violet is living with dementia, Jen patiently repeated things and reassured her. She showed respect for Violet by asking for permission before opening her dresser. When Violet couldn't remember the word for the clothes she wanted to wear, Jen prompted Violet to point to what she was looking for. Next, Jen complimented the blouse, effectively redirecting the conversation to something more positive. Recognizing negative emotions and using appropriate encouragement is an important step in creating a positive IPI experience. Like many who live with dementia, Violet can have difficulty choosing from too many options. Jen gave her a limited choice and clearly showed, instead of told, the options. Jen did well in adapting the IPI to meet Violet's ability level. While Jen didn't give her opinions, she did offer key information, such as the weather, to help Violet decide what to wear. When there was confusion about which color pants Violet wanted to wear, Jen asked for clarification and honored Violet's preferences. Jen gave Violet her full attention and offered genuine encouragement which helped build a positive connection between them. Now, let's look at how Jen finishes and transitions Violet to the next activity. I cleaned up pretty well. Yeah, you look great. Okay, let's get you down to breakfast, sweetie, because this took a lot longer than I thought. We're running a little behind now. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. That's okay, we'll just go faster next time. Jen finishes by hurrying Violet and skipping the thank, ask, and assess steps. Skipping the closing steps may leave Violet feeling uncertain as to what happens next and more likely to experience distress. IPI activities are about creating brief, meaningful connections between direct care workers and the individuals they care for. I cleaned up pretty well. Thank you for letting me pick out your outfit with you today, Miss Violet. I had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about picking out your outfit? I enjoyed it very much. Could you point to the face that shows how you're feeling? Happy. I really enjoyed spending time with you. Could we do it again sometime? I think that would be nice. I think so too. I had a great time. Okay, Miss Violet. May I walk to the dining room with you now? Yes. Let's go. Jen did a lot of things well in this video. She closed the IPI by thanking Violet for her participation. This expression of appreciation and gratitude helps in positively reinforcing the behavior of getting dressed and forming a meaningful connection between Jen and Violet. Jen also asked Violet to select a face that represents how she is feeling and if she would like to do the activity again in a way that doesn't interrupt the flow of their conversation. Finally, before leaving, Jen transitions Violet to the next part of her day, breakfast. Now let's see an effective IPI personal care activity all together. Come in. Good morning, Miss Violet. My name is Jen. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I was thinking I could help you pick out something to wear today. 
What do you think? Well, I don't really feel like it. I'd want to keep reading my magazine. Oh. How about I come back in 15 minutes and we'll see if you're ready then? Okay. See you then. Come in. Good morning, Miss Violet. Are you finished with your magazine? Who are you? I'm Jen. I'm here to see if you need my help picking out something to wear. I don't really feel like it. I'd rather just keep reading. That does look like a really interesting magazine. What's it about? It's about cooking. I love to cook. Look. Ooh, that dish looks really yummy. It's making me hungry. Me too. <laughs> Would you like to get dressed or we can go get something to eat? Okay, we can give it a try. Wonderful. How are you feeling today? I just can't seem to remember anything. I, I can barely get through a page in this magazine. My memory has gotten so bad. Could you point to a face that shows me how you're feeling? It is hard when you feel you can't remember things. Thank you for sharing that with me. I hope that changing clothes might help make you feel a little better. I understand that choosing what you wear is important to you. Yes, it is. Would you like to pick an outfit now? Sure. Let's go to your dresser. Is that my dresser? Oh, is that your dresser? No, this is yours. Let's pick out an outfit for you to wear today. Oh, I just can't remember a thing. It's okay. I'm here to help. Let's go through your clothes together, and then you can choose what you'd like to wear. May I open your drawers? Okay. Oh, you have some lovely blouses in here. Which color would you like to wear today? I think the rain. I, I mean, um, oh, it's not the word. Oh, I just, that's it, not what I mean. That's okay. Can you point to it? The red blouse. Yes, the red blouse. Very nice choice. It's beautiful. Now, what would you like to wear with it? Oh, I don't know. Would you like to wear pants or a skirt? I think pants. Good choice. It's a little chilly outside. Would you like the black, brown, or blue ones? Mm-hmm. I think the brown ones. These ones? Yes, those would be nice. Yes, they would be nice. You have a very good eye for fashion. <laughs> would you like to wear some accessories today, like jewelry or a watch? Oh, I love jewelry, but I don't know where my jewelry is. Oh, well, isn't this your jewelry box right here? Well, yes. How did it get here? Well, I'm not sure. Maybe one of your children brought it by. May I look at your jewelry with you? What do you want with my jewelry? We're just looking at jewelry to go with your outfit. But maybe you can choose the jewelry yourself and just ask me if you need help. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> oh, yes. Would you help me put it on? Of course. Mm, this is a beautiful necklace. Thank you. Where did you get it? Oh, it was a gift from my husband, Antonio. Oh, tell me about Antonio. Oh, Antonio is my husband. He's at work right now, but he should be back later. Hmm. How long have you been married? Oh, I don't remember. Maybe 10 years. Oh, this is a pretty necklace. Antonio got it for me when he went to Costa Rica. He has great taste in jewelry. He does have great taste. My boyfriend picked this out for me. Well, he has great taste as well. Mm -hmm. I think he's a keeper. You should marry him. <laughs> <laughs> what is the secret to a happy marriage? Oh, you must love one another. Mm -hmm. But good gifts don't hurt either. <laughs> <laughs> I cleaned up pretty well. Thank you for letting me pick out your outfit with you today, Miss Violet. I had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about picking out your outfit? I enjoyed it very much. 
Could you point to the face that shows how you're feeling? Happy. I really enjoyed spending time with you. Could we do it again sometime? I think that would be nice. I think so too. I had a great time. Okay, Miss Violet. May I walk to the dining room with you now? Yes, let's go. When doing an IPI, remember that residents are adults who are used to having independence, are deserving of respect, and are all unique individuals. IPIs are designed to increase positive interactions in residents' day-to-day -day lives, especially residents who do not have the opportunity to participate in group activities. Evidence shows that these positive interactions and accompanying communication techniques can reduce challenging behaviors and enhance both the resident's and the caregiver's mood. You can be the most effective in an IPI if you approach challenges with curiosity, respect personal belongings, respect the resident's preferences, give genuine encouragement throughout, give full attention to the resident, Listen, really listen. Focus on making a positive connection. Use encouraging facial expressions, lots of smiling and nodding. Keep a patient and calm tone of voice. Observe the resident's cues and facial expressions. To recognize the resident's emotions during the activity, use the skills you learn from the emotion-focused communication course. Ask the resident's permission. Explain what you will do before moving ahead. For questions or comments about honoring preferences, please reach out to us at info at preferencebasedliving.com or visit our website, preferencebasedliving.com. There, you'll find a growing set of IPI resources, as well as related tip sheets, webinars, and videos to help on your journey toward person-centered care.